What is happening, guys? Welcome back to the Easy Guide walkthrough for Shadow of the Earth Tree. We are going to continue on today. Let's first start off. We are at the current Church District High Road. We are going to make our way first all the way back to the main gate cross. We're going to go talk to some NPCs and get their dialogue going so that we can forward past in Moore's quest line and get his armor. So go ahead and talk to Anvec, run through his dialogue. The fog and folly. Once I challenged, I knew not. I believed that I could not have been Nicola the cure. There is nothing more to... Righteous time. I am... Okay, and run through Moore's dialogue. I don't kind Nicola, but together, together. Talk to Moore. I don't know what our mother... Uh, she did not love us. We... Uh, must we be... Sad forever and as depressing as this sounds we are gonna say remain sad forever very depressing i know but we'd rather this than fight him <laughs> sad forever sad forever and ever yes very depressing i understand you come off you enjoy i like i like so you. that is the last time we will see uh he says goodbye that is the last time we will talk to him he's actually gonna go off himself uh, so at, as, as depressing as that sounds, uh, that we we need to do that. So go ahead and talk I to just, let's make sure these guys are all good. Then from here, we are going to go back to the three path cross and talk to Freya. And we're going to run through her dialogue. She's going to ask, uh, what do you intend to look into or leave? Uh, you can do either one. This does not really matter. And you can talk to her again. What if you become our enemy? It doesn't really matter. You can leave or what if you become our enemy? There's no word. There's no need for that. I'll be out on there's something I... And then you can rest, and these NPCs all should be gone now. So from here, we're going to head back to the next grace with NPCs, and that is the High Roads Cross. We're going to speak with Lita, or Le uh, Lita first. Oh, hello. Did you feel it? But while my divine my trot No wait, I can wield my I should have thought of this Right, those of us who So suggest horn set, suggest the horn set. The horn set on one hand with the enchantment on the other hand, perhaps you're concerned. Allow me some Allow me And then go talk to the horn set. Intriguing. Do you presume us allies? I must put uphold his then mar and surely. But first, the Impaler, that in vengeance for the flames, how could I allow myself? Revenge alone, I should think not to hinder me upon my path, lest you too wish to face the... Go ahead and rest. And their dialogue should be exhausted. He should be gone. Yep, he's gone. And you can try talking to Lita again. There you are. Okay, so she does decide then. I believe it wisest to eliminate if he were to point at vengeance and one day kindly make it even if he just his lineage will I believe the he never placed he must have recognized something the stench of crusted I will follow the to have his revenge of the black keep I will follow the have okay. revenge of the black keep. run through that so you can rest again And then after that, we are going to make our way over to the Church of Crusades, so that church right over there. We're going to make our way back over there, but we're, this time we're going to ride around the back and come around over here on this side. Oops. And we are going to go find uh, more dead. <laughs> it's kind of fitting, too, because he offed himself beside one of his... Uh, Friends with the cookbooks, as you'll see up here, it's kind of, uh, it's pretty depressing. Uh, but the reason we are doing this is not for, not just for his armor, but for the fact we don't want to have to fight him 
before the final end boss. Uh, if you do not choose to do this, you will have to fight more at the very end of the game. And uh, let me tell you, he's not very easy. <laughs> His uh, damage negation is very, very high. So it's best to do this. And also by doing it this way, you also get his armor. Oh, it's up, uh, I'm sorry about that. It's up on this rock. So go up here, and it's going to be right over here. So as you see, he offs himself beside one of his uh, good friends that gives the cookbooks. This is going to give you Moore's Bell Bearing, as well as his awesome, really, really strong armor. Uh, just to put in perspective how strong this armor is compared to something else, I mean, look at our damage negation on, say, like a Slash 19.7. Um, you have some of these other armors, you know, 16, <laughs> 18, I mean, it's a pretty damn strong armor. Immunities are also really good, too. If you look at the immunities, really high resistances, really high robustness, altogether a really solid armor. So if you want to use that, you can. Uh, just know that it's going to put you into a heavy load with no matter really what you do, uh, just because it is, it's a very, very heavy armor. So from there, we are going to go back to Elk River. So come all the way back to Elk River Cave. We're going to go back to this grace. And now we are going to unlock the southern part of the map. So we're going to exit the cave. And instead of riding north, we are going to ride south this time. And for a little teeny jumping puzzle, I recommend doing this in the daytime. Uh, if you if it's night, you might struggle with this because they're kind of hard to see some of these. But uh, it's not a very hard jumping puzzle. You, you'll be fine. Uh, right here, you'll want to cross over to the left first. Ride down through here. And then you're going to cross back over to the right. You might get hit by that, not a big deal. If you do get hit, try to roll away as fast as possible. I love how I didn't get knocked off in the prep, but I get knocked off while I record. It's great. <laughs> uh, you can go over here and make your way down off this. Go get the grace. We're going to continue to ride down this path on the right. There's going to be another little miniature jump thing that we have to run through here. Go down to here. Fall down to there. Go over to here. Jump on to here. Jump on to the big rock. And just ride on across. Go ahead and ride straight on down. And it's going to give you access to this lower area. So we're going to stay in the river. Just keep riding on by the crab. We're going to stay to the right here. It's going to open up into a little opening over here through these trees. We're going to follow this through. And this is going to take you to the Serling Coast. A beautiful, beautiful area out here. Once we get that grace, we're going to go get the map out here. Uh, be careful, there is going to be a dragon that pops in here. Right off to the left here, so you don't get smashed down by him. And he flies in. Uh, he's going to fly in any time now. Just right on past him. And we are going to get the map fragment right down here.
So get the map southern shore. And now we have the whole southern shore also over here unlocked as well. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to this cross up here and get another grace. We're right up through here. And when you see the cross, that's where we're heading. Right up this little hill. There's going to be another scad tree upgrade up here. Go ahead and get the grace. From here, we are going to go this way now. So we're going to go on the shore and we're going to run through this path over here, over onto here. Oops, I uh, wanted to get on Torrent, not rest at the Grace. So to do that, we can do this a couple different ways. The fastest way is just right up here. Actually, I think you can actually just take the shore down here. I think this goes all the way down. I think it does, but let's go the other way just to be safe. So if you go up here. And then take the shore path down. Actually, wait, maybe it was this path. All right, let's take this path. I think it was. And then we're going to ride all by these hands. I thought I came down here a different way, my prep account. It was similar to this, but it was like right off that edge, I think. We're going to ride all through down here. And then we are going to go along the shore here. Keep on riding through this little pathway here. And then we're going to ride up this ramp. On the very right hand side, there will be a little opening here. So just to show you where this ramp is, if you lost track, this ramp is right here. We had taken from here and we rode down through here, went through here, and now we're going up this ramp to get a grace right here. Go ahead and get this grace. Fingers, Ruins of Rhea. We'll be using this grace here in one moment. Alright, and now we're going to head back. We can take that check mark off. We're going to head back to the Serling Coast. So go back to this one. And now we're going to ride and go get another Scad Tree on this coast level. I recommend having your dagger out. Oh. Recommend having your dagger out. <laughs> that has good old Assassin's Gambit on there. That'll come in very handy. And now we are going to ride, and we're going to stay to the right here on this whole entire path until we hit this cave down here. So just stick to the rocks. Stick to the edge. And don't wander out in the middle because there's a lot of things out here that can kill you pretty easily, actually. We're just going to stay right over here, close to the rocks, and edge our way around here. Oh, 
When you get over here, there's going to be a little opening. We're going to ride into this opening. Now, through here, we're going to we're going to get off our horse. We're going to actually pop this. And now we're going to ride and we're going to stick to the left hand side as we ride up through here. The very left hand side as much as we can. We're going to stick to the left. Ride through here. And there's going to be an opening right here. We're going to jump into that opening. Oh, and we're going to grab that item. Scad tree. And then we're going to get to a place where we can teleport out of here. And go on, teleport back. Now we are going to head to the fissure. So the fissure was opened up once we rode close enough to Shadow Keep. It basically changed everything in the game, and it will open up the fissure. So we're going to ride all the way down to the fissure down here. We're going to place our marker right there, and we're going to go back from this grace right here. Best way to do this is just stick to the left side. Stick and hug the coast. And I recommend doing this in the daytime too, or when it's bright out. Because at night it can be a little tricky to go make your way down the fissure. It's kind of getting dark, but I think we should be alright. It's not dark yet, so we should be good. If you want to bring a torch, that might be helpful as well. You're going to get hit there. Just keep going. You can ride up here if you want. You'll be able to jump off the side here anyway. You can jump down here. It won't kill you. And we're almost there already. We're going to see this little opening right here. By all these graves you're gonna also see this is where we can go down so take your time going down through here uh, I can't stress that enough uh, this is a very easy place to die in so I'm gonna even bring out a torch just to be safe all right there we go so go down through here and you can do this on Torrent, but like I said, just it's best to be safe. And not rush this. And now you can see why I said to do this in the daytime. Because at night, you can get very sketchy when you can barely see any of this stuff. Uh, be a very careful here. I, I believe this is safe. Okay, I think this is the next place right over through here. And then we're going to drop down through over here. And then walk down here. As you can see, that phantom there just is running across there. Feel free to do the same. And then you can jump here. It might take some damage, but you should live. And go ahead and get that grace. And now we're going to go inside the fissure. So that is the fissure right there. We're just going to run over there inside. I recommend using your Ash of War here through here, get Assassin's Gambit. Also, make sure you're healed up. This is going to open up another grace here. We're going to run through here just a bit to go get another scad tree. Go ahead and get that grace.
There's going to be a bunch of blood fiends here. Be very careful. They can do a lot of damage here. But they shouldn't even see you, though. Run right here. This room's gonna, floor is going to break apart. Going to bring you down to another level. Go ahead and pop Assassin's Gambit one more time. And you'll be able to run right through here. Nobody even saw us. Didn't get spotted once. And then run right to the cross and get the grace. And a uh, scat tree fragment as well. From here, we are done in this area. So we are going to teleport out and we are going to go all the way back up to this church up here. So go ahead and mark this church. And we are going to go back to the Grace Church District High Road. From Church District High Road, we're just going to make our way right up to that church. We can just follow the path right up there. Don't worry about any enemies up here. There's nothing up here that's going to kill you. Just some marionette soldiers, but that's about it. And now we are going to start this quest line. So this quest line, the reason we are doing this quest line is it leads to a, rem a remembrance boss. And this guide is going to cover all 10 remembrance bosses plus Bale. So 11 total bosses in one. Um, but uh, yes, the, there, there is a remembrance boss tied to this quest line that we have to do. So that is why we are doing this quest line. So go ahead and run in the church. Go ahead and get the grace. And then go ahead and go open this door over here. And go talk to the guy sitting on the chair over here. Run through his dialogue. Well, I am Emi. It is a plain land so for seeing. But allow me to. He's gonna give you a whole laden necklace, which we're gonna use. The map go ahead and run through all his dialogue here while we're at it. I only wish to help them. I'm not missing. You are a fighter. He is not giving you a map. Oh. If you are playing as a sorcerer, he does sell a bunch of sorcerer stuff here, so you can go ahead and pick that up if you want. Go ahead and ask about Glenstone and run through his dialogue on all his options. I'm not sure if this t matters completely, but it's best to be safe than sorry. <laughs> and then find out later it was tied to the quest. So go ahead and run back and rest at the grace. And now there'll be a new NPC that opened up in here. You'll see her on the wall right here, leaning. Go ahead and talk to her, run through her dialogue. I've no interest, my only con- And you are- Only, Count Emir, you will sorely- Be gone, there is nothing more to- Be gone, there's nothing more to say. Once she says that, we are going to travel all the way back to the Fingers Grace that we opened up just a little bit ago. So this one right down here, Finger Ruins of Rhea. We're going to go right down here. And now we're going to go get a really good talisman. You might not need this talisman yet. Uh, it might come in handy later on and you might not use it at all, but it's best to have it just in case. Uh, what this talisman will do is it will allow your uh, flask to fill up your health bar faster uh, with each flask you take. So it, it, it uh, raises the... It raises the amount that one flask will raise your health, which is really, really a good thing in a, in a lot of boss fights. Uh, when we ride down here, we are going to want to stick to the right-hand side once we get off this cliff. So don't go down there. We're going to actually drop down right over here. And now we are going to want to stick to the right-hand side as much as possible. We don't want those mages to see us. If you want to, you can throw out a mimic or something to distract them, but we should be all right. If you just ride straight through over through this way, the line to the lying down finger, and then when you get closer to this lying down finger, ride right into the main Colosseum of fingers over here. Now, what you 
think would think is a would be a really like cool boss fight. It's not. Uh, sadly, is not. I, I feel like they should have put a boss here. Uh, but you can just go down here and use the bell that we just got. And that is going to give us the talisman. That's the Crimson Seed Talisman plus one. From here, we are going to go right back to the church and continue on with that dude's dialogue. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to run right through here back to Mir, I think his name is, Manus Mir. Go ahead and talk to him again. Once he's done talking to you, he's talking to his precious baby, which is a hand. He's going to give you the ruined second map, which will come in handy later on. And beloved Stardust. I have made my decision to be of help. May the gleaming stars guide So now go ahead and ask about the night and also ask about the natures as well. Well, I have a poor girl as her tongue can be shut. Don't think just run through all his dialogue. I fear that you can see He's going to tell you a bunch of lore about the world, too, which is pretty interesting. So if you want to listen to it, you're very welcome to. And this is what no matter when we have little. Ever young Ask about Mikola. Things for what they were. He knew that his bloodline was tainted. It's a tragedy if that he would feel compelled when the blame lay. May the gleaming stars guide you. All right, and once you do that, you can go back and rest the grace. And now we are going to fight an, an invader. So I highly recommend putting on some good armor here. Also, as well as changing up a few things here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to upgrade our scads while we're here. Let's go ahead and upgrade all your scad trees to what we have right now. Might take a second. All right, don't worry about the spear dashes. We don't, we don't really need those yet. Uh, we don't have to do anything with that. Also, while you're here, you might as well change your Ash of War on your shield. Uh, this girl is going to use a magic sword on you, or this... I, I, I don't know if it's a girl. I, I assume it's a girl, but I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, you can go to your shield, and we're going to put a magic affinity on that. Uh, go ahead and keep shield crash. That's a good one. Uh, just use put magic on there. Uh, or cold, it's also a good one to put on there too as well. I mean, that's also, it's going to give your magic an 88. So magic regular would be 96, 88. We'll go cold just to build, build up on frostbite. And then go ahead and change your armor up here a little bit. So I'm going to take off a few things. I'm going to put on Bloodhound's Fang. Make quick work of this uh, invader. Go ahead and put your shield on for quick work. And then we're going to put on... Our armor that we started here with. And the armor that you choose, you know, you can you can wear what you want here. It's it, it doesn't have to be following the guide exactly, obviously. Um let's see here, where did my Oh, they're down here. Uh, but if you want to follow the guide though, feel free to use the Beast Champion set. And the talismans, they're fine. Um you can put the Spelldrake Talisman on here if you wanted to. She's not gonna use any magic on you though so you, I wouldn't really need to but if you wanted to you could and uh, we're gonna go fight this NPC so as you see now uh, he is not there he is no longer there uh, but what we can do is interact with his chair there's a little button that's gonna bring us down into a secret tunnel into this freaky freaky weird place uh, I don't even have I don't know how to describe this place even I would describe it as a finger's ruins below this place. I mean, that's technically what it is. Uh, but it, when I first saw this in my Let's Play, it really was pretty surprising. Because I, you would expect like maybe like a little cave down here. You wouldn't expect this. It's like literally this. This is what's below here. <laughs> All right. So be ready for the invader. He's going to be coming out here. 
He's not that hard of an invader, but just be cautious. He'll be coming anytime here. Go ahead and put Blood Flame Blade on that. Put out your shield. And you're dead. So, yeah, not, not a hard invader. That's going to be Claws of Night, which is a very, very good weapon. Uh, we might actually use that later. I'm not even sure, but that's a very, very fun weapon. Uh, once you have that, I don't know if you need to do this, but go ahead and run over here, just in case you do. We're going to run over here right under the finger and try to interact with it. I think, I don't know if you have to do this part, but this is later on how we're going to access the Remembrance boss. We'll be able to use the horn here, but we can't use that yet. So from there, we can just teleport right on back. And now we're going to talk to the dude again. He's going to basically tell you, forget everything you've seen. Well, put it as stars will free yourself. Oh, hello. And just, yeah. So that's basically it. He just tells you to forget what you've seen. If you want to, you can go talk to her over here again. Run through her. How did you to count email reward? Hmm. Then I see you have gained them, therefore. You basically gained a little bit of her respect now. Don't get the wrong idea. We are neither friends nor comp. I am merely on. Enough of you. Tell her you were attacked by a sword and a knight underground. You can do that or say nothing. Stop. What did you just... <sighs> Wait. No, I have one and only hit. I will say that I am in your debt. I will hear no... I have one star and only his words will... Be on your way. I will hear no... Once she says that, you're done here. Uh, this is all wrapped up for now. This will all make more sense later on. Go ahead and rest there, and then we're done fighting for a bit, so go ahead and put on your black knife set again. Because we have one more episode that we have for a setup. Uh, there's going to be three setup episodes. Next episode, we're going to go through Shadow Keep, and we are going to collect everything that we need in Shadow Keep right off the bat. So then we have up to a 12 level scatter tree and a six level revered spirit ash and then we'll be starting the game after the next episode so next episode we're going to be running through shadow keep and doing all that fun stuff and uh we'll be on our way then we'll be able to start the first legacy dungeon which will be bellaret tower so from here we can even go right back up here because this is where we will be starting next episode as well church district high road All right, so when next episode, we will be heading through the church district into here, and as well as knocking out a and getting all the graces, talismans, and all the fun stuff, and a few other things, pathways, and whatnot. So stay tuned for that, guys. More coming soon.